video, we are going to look into how to transform a continuous variable into a categorical variable. So, for instance, we have recorded this age and when we were recording, we did not categorize it initially and we did not ask the respondents to choose a particular category. And we decided that, okay, as a researcher, we will obviously categorize it later if required. Now, this might be a scenario in your study. Now, how do you categorize once you have collected the data? Now, the first step is you have to identify the lower value and the highest value. Now, in order to do this, you can simply take the frequency. So, go and select this variable, age, add it, and press OK. So, the minimum value was 29, and the maximum value was 65. So let's say we decide on creating say four classes 25 to 35, 36 to 45, 46 to 55 and 56 to 65. Now how do we do this? So we what we can do is we go to transform, record into same variable or record into different variable. Now, it's always a good idea to keep the original variable with you in the data set. So, what we do is we create another variable, record into different variable. Now, in this case, what we are recording is, we are recording age. So, we select age. Now, age will be transformed into a new variable. So, let's name it age underscore gr. And we press change. The next step is to give or identify the new and old values. So what we do is we go to old and new values. Now here, record into different variables what are the old and new values. Now in this case, we have got a range of values that are being transformed. So what we select is, we select range. The minimum range is starting from 25 or in this case, we can start from 26 through 35. And it will be labeled as 1. So we press add. 36 to 45 will be labeled as 2. 46 to 55 will be labeled as 3. And 56 to 65 will be labeled as 4. Now all our values that we saw in this table behind us is, are now covered in these four categories. What we do is we press continue and then we press OK. Now if we see here in our data set, there will be a new variable created right down here. Now let's say analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and let's take this one and this one goes out and we press OK. Now see this table. It might make a lot more sense than in this previous table. But still there is one point missing. We do not know what 1 means, 2 means, 3 means and 4 means. So what we should do is we should add values. So 1 would mean 26 to 35. 2 would mean 36 to 45. 3 would mean 46 to 55 and 4 would mean 56 to 65 and then we press OK and now just have a look how it looks and OK. See now it makes a lot more sense in comparison to the previous table. So this is how you can categorize a continuous variable into different categories. For instance, you can use it to categorize salary or maybe any other variable. Thank you very much.